Well, you've clicked on this video intrigued as to what this video is about. This video is about improving the filtration on your Hoover Junior. So, in inspiration for this and slight copying was um, Be Beko1987 or Sam Watson. Um, as he does this on his vacuums, well, Junior's, um, except he uses a different bag. So, I'm sure we've all had a, one of these or seen one in our lifetime. Um, they're so, well, they were so common. Now there's probably still hundreds of thousands of these still going around. For whether it's in an old granny's utility or in a charity shop, there's loads of them. But inside, you probably all know they have paper bags in. Um, if you give me a second, I'll show you what they usually look like. So, Hoover Junior bags, well, they usually come in something like this. These are Qualtex. Apparently, they're treated with baking soda. And, of course, they fit all these models. And here they are, they're a pale colour. Or these ones, which are trying too hard to look like genuine ones. Because if you don't know, Hoover Genuine bags used to be this kind of yellowy colour. I'm not going to open these, I don't know these in ages. They're okay. They keep the dust in a little bit. But I'm sure you've all seen the bags. They're usually a bit dusty or a bit fluffy. And that's why I use these. Now these are fake HepaFlow bags. They're branded as Europart, five layer, blah blah blah, we are amazing. No, they're not really good in Henry's, they kind of leak, but they are brilliant in Hoover Juniors. So, you can use fake S7 bags, Mila S7 bags, but I find they're quite hard to fit. So as you'll see in here, I've already fitted a fake Kepaflow. And it's a brand new, I've never used this with this bag in yet. I've used my 1, 2, 3, 4, A with this bag in. But I'm going to show you what to do. So anyway, take your old bag out, obviously, so you know how to do that. You move the rubber ring up. These are the same as some of the Hoover belts, by the way. Some of them, if you've got a, if the bag ring perishes or something, you, and you change the belt, I think it, they're the same like the one three three four A. You can take the old belt off that's so a bit stretched and use it as a bag thing. So there we go. You can see what I've done. It's pretty obvious. Here it is. There's nothing in it, so I'm going to reuse this. So what do you do to fit this? Well. You'll take the bag, and because they're fake, they're not made very well. And you're going to pull the collar off quite carefully. I just saved a calamity there. Um, quite carefully. Not like that, though. You don't want to tear the whole bag apart. Oh, look, I've just gone in. Gah! Back in one second. Okay, I told you they were badly made, but using scissors is probably more advisable if you cut quite closely. But I'm going to very gently do this now and hopefully not tear the bag completely open. So, excuse the noise, there's always people walking their dogs near me. Um, so, once you very carefully tear the bag collar off, which I'll pause while I do in case I fail again, <laughs> As you'll see, once you tear collar off, you have a hole. Now, what to do is, just sort of fit it like your standard bag. So you want to... Yeah, noisy cars. You want to just fit the hole. I don't know if I can angle you up so you can see this. You just want to fit the hole over the bag fill tube as normal. Like you would with a standard bag. And pull it all around tight so that it's a good fit. So sort of like this then you'll just slide the rubber ring down it's basically like you're tr fitting a traditional bag so make sure that the bag is like on all the way around and slide the rubber ring down until it clicks in its groove now to check make sure that there is a bit of bag above the ring and make sure and give it a good pull make sure it's on firmly so that is how to use give fake Hepaflow is a good use. Yeah, there's all kinds of bags you can use. You can use any just fake but Hepaflow bags or cloth bags. 
I don't recommend you try it with genuine ones because that's a bit of a waste of a good genuine bag and uh, plus they're usually a lot thicker and better made so that they probably wouldn't fit on or they would be a nightmare to fit on you also don't want something that's going to restrict the airflow too much because that might not be very good for the hoover so then you just fit back the bag fill tube as normal you will have done this before and close up the zip and you should find that your bag will stay cleaner and also the air coming out will be a bit cleaner <laughs> so there's a bit of a cannibalized bag but I've got these to work through as well so we'll have to use these up as well eventually so thanks for watching and if you found this useful then good see you later